Have you been often turned down or disappointed? Colonel Harlan Sanders, the creator of Kentucky Fried Chicken, certainly did. But he didn't just make lemonade out of his misfortunes, he made the world a better place. Colonel Sanders' inspiring life story Sanders was born in Henryville, Indiana, in 1890. Sanders' father died when he was six years old, leaving him to cook and care for his siblings. He dropped out of school in seventh grade and moved away from home to work as a farmhand. Already, I'm becoming a tough cookie. He lied about his age to enlist in the U.S. Army at the age of 16. He was engaged as a laborer by the railway after being honorably discharged a year later. He was, however, fired after a dispute with a co-worker. He studied law while working for the railway, until he lost his legal career by getting into another brawl. Sanders was compelled to return to his mother's house and find work selling life insurance. What's more, guess what? He was sacked due to his disobedience. But this guy was not going to give up. He established a ferry boat company in 1920. Later, he tried to cash in on his ferry boat business by starting a light manufacturing company, only to discover that another company already had a better version of his lamp on the market. He just couldn't seem to get a break. He didn't start serving chicken meals in a service station until he was 40 years old. And dispute with a competitor turned into a deadly gunfight when he began to advertise his meals. He bought a motel four years later, which burned down along with his restaurant. Despite this, he constructed and operated a new motel until World War II compelled him to close it. He attempted to franchise his eatery after the war. Before anyone accepted his recipe, it was rejected 1,009 times. Sanders' secret recipe became known as Kentucky Fried Chicken and was an instant hit. However, when an expressway was built nearby, the thriving restaurant was crippled, so Sanders sold it and focused on his dream of expanding KFC franchisees and hiring KFC workers across the country. Sanders eventually made it big after years of failures and calamities. He sold KFC for $2 million, $15.3 million now, after it expanded overseas. Sanders' image is still prominent in KFC's branding, and his face appears in the company's emblem. His beard, white suit, and western string tie have become synonymous with delectable country fried chicken around the globe. Sanders mm. died of pneumonia at the age of 90. KFC had roughly 6,000 stores in 48 countries at the time. KFC had around 18,000 outlets in 118 countries by 2013.